I'm Chosen Architect, and this is Mystical Block. You struggle to build? Have you ever wanted a fancy island to start off on in your Skyblock adventure? Well, worry no longer because this island can be yours for the simple price of any supporter tier over on the Discord. Uh, anyone who is a supporter, whether that is through Patreon, through Discord, or even Twitch, will get access to the world downloads, but you guys will also get access to this entire Sky Island completely removed of all of the mods I had done thus far, leaving you with a perfectly blank template for you to start your Skyblock adventure on. So all you have to do is check out the links down in the description below and join the Discord today. Discord.gg forward slash chosen architect. And well, let's get on with today's video. Grind. Yes, that's going to be the subject of today's episode. And well, today I'm going to be doing a lot of it, but hopefully I can find some ways to make this easier on myself. However, we're going to be diving into a mod that adds power flowers that have recursive crafting, which is going to uh, take quite a while. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the word recursive, let me kind of show you what I mean. This right here in the Project Expansions mod, aka Project EX and many other names uh, have been named for it. Um, Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So first of all, this is the first basic power flower, which is an upgrade kind of to how a normal power flower works from Project E, which is normally this giant multi block. Just imagine that all of these little uh, little blocks on here are actual glowstone wrapped around uh, blocks from the inside. And you can imagine how big that thing can be. Uh, it is quite large. Uh, this makes it a single block. However, to be able to get to this point, we need to craft all of these collectors and things. So first we have to make all of the basics, uh, which is going to be taking an energy collector and converting it into a basic collector MK1. And of course, this has its own process that you have to go through, which also is, in my opinion, sort of this recursive craft. But this is really what adds up. And each one of these inc get increasingly larger in the EMC amount. You can see this right here is 140, uh, 1.44 million. This one right here is 4.54 million and keeps going and going and going and going and going until you end up with a fading matter that ends up being 1 trillion EMC. Uh, of course, along this way, we're not only going to have to upgrade these, we're also going to have to upgrade fuel because to make these collectors, you can see they're going to start to require to upgrade just a, an expansion here of adding those matters. But we also need to make relays um, and relays are going to get expensive. And of course, the, the matters themselves also have a built in sort of uh, craft recursive craft that requires these upgraded fuel types that you see right here. So all of this added together is going to take a lot of crafting, a lot of manual crafting as well until you at least get to the final product. But we also may run out of EMC during that point. Uh, now, the point is to kind of go higher and higher in these flower powers. See that it, as the higher tier you go up, the more EMC these are gonna produce per second. And the higher tiers do produce a ton of EMC or we'll never have to really worry about it. And I can tell you that this is a very important thing to do in this pack because the sooner you have this, the sooner you're going to be able to start working on the end game items. Speaking of end game, let's take a look at that page. So down at the very bottom, we have creative items. This is the end game of this pack and is ultimately going to help us along our journey because there's some things here that we should be able to complete that doesn't take too much to do. Uh, for example, infinite storage. This isn't that bad. It just requires a little bit of EMC and some crafting. And once we have at least one of them, we're able to turn them and EMC them. Getting them into this crafter, I also have a special way of doing it because you probably won't be able to fit all of this inside of your basic inventory. Um, now, there's also other things, right? There's like this creative tank. A creative tank, look how simple this is. However, it does require an ultimate singularity. And ultimate singularities, of course, are all of the singularities. All of these items are EMCable. You need 10,000 of them, so we would have to use uh, our system to, uh, we'd have to use these things right here, these EMC links, to send all of these items into our compressor. Of course, by that point, we may even be able to use refined storage to do that because there is a way to link it via this right here, the transmutation interface. Uh, this requires a final star, which requires a ton of EMC. That's basically the only thing. It requires tons of EMC, or EMC, and it also requires these final EMC links, 
which of course we have to go through all of the process we're about to do today to do this. Um, so with that in mind, it does take a lot. And these are not EMCable right here because the final star shards are not EMCable, um, which is kind of odd. But with all of that in our head, we have an idea that like the creative controller, for example, this looks pretty simple. It needs an ultimate singularity. This is going to push me towards getting a production of EMC set up that is going to be sustainable, that's going to be uh, upgradable, and is going to help us through our journey. So that, my friends, is why I'm going to be going through that journey of this crafting process. Now, you may be asking yourself, Chosen, is there an easy way to do this? Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say no. The only way that would be easier is if you already had the transmutation interface in the first place, then it would be as simple as just doing this all through refined storage, which would be quite easy. But instead, we have to go about it a much more manual way. Um, and that manual way is going to be simply me opening up my refined storage, finding the items that I need, opening up my transportation table or tablet and finding those items and pulling them out. So I need to get a bunch of that done. Now, there are a few tips that I can help you with as far as making sure you have the items available in your inventory. And to kind of get started in this whole process, it's probably going to be best to have some Eternalist Fuel, Dark Matter, Red Matter, Diamond Blocks, some Obsidian, some Glass, and some Glowstone. Because the first things we need to make is this right here. Also, you're going to need some Furnaces as well, so I might as well grab a couple of those. So we're going to need to make a basic Energy Collector, and we're also going to need a basic Antimatter Relay. So these things right here, we're going to need, we're going to also need to make sure we EMC them and learn them. And we're going to be constantly going up in this process. Um, so the next tier just requires dark matter. And now we have the tier two or the MK2 version. And same thing goes for the antimatter. Now, the way this is going to work is we are going to be repeating this process over and over and over again. The textures are just going to change. Um, and so we're going to be using higher and higher tier every time, except uh, the, the sort of these machines sort of get compacted into what we're about to upgrade next. So let's take a look. So once we've hit this part with the MK, we need to make these basic, which requires blocks of Eternalist Fuel. So just like I said, we are gonna need Eternalist Fuel. Putting this in the middle slot here will actually allow you to pull it up, which is gonna make things a little bit easier later on as well. Uh, but now that we have this, we can start to focus on this. This is gonna be our basic relay MK1. And then up here, we have our basic collector MK1, you can see uh, if we have an inter a tier one collector, we can just simply upgrade that tier one to this block. So these definitely want to EMC. And then each time you craft the collector, they need to be sort of pulled out and then they need to be compressed. And so you're going to be EMCing or you're going to be learning or teaching your system the compressed version because this is what's going to be used in the power flower production. Um, and of course, most of these items are going to be very large, so they're going to show up in the first part, given that you have EMC for them. So they're going to show up on the first page of your list. And this process is going to repeat. Um, so at, as of right now, we have the MK1, which means we should be able to make this first tier power flower. We're going to need six of the relays. So six of the tier one relays. And then now we should be able to craft the first tier basic power flower. And of course, all of these things are EMCable. And this process is going to continue. Now, this one doesn't do a whole lot. It literally produces 20 EMC per tick. Uh, no, this one produces 120 EMC per tick, which is not a lot. It's really not, especially compared to the amount that we are currently generating. But as I keep pushing higher and higher up the tiers, this is only going to become more and more powerful. Now, the next part of my task is going to be, well, try my best to upgrade to the highest tier fuel I can. And then after that, I'm going to be working on upgrading to the highest tier matter. Um, so as you can see right here, I have pink. Just take my pink out, upgrade that to the next tier, which is purple. EMC, I like to just put it in that slot, give everything back so we're not uh, losing out on EMC and just keep doing this process over and over again for this fuel. That's probably the easiest way to do that. Now it's at this point that things start to get really expensive and I may not have the EMC for this. So we may be able to go up maybe a couple, couple more tiers. This is only going to give me six of these. So yes, I'm going to have to be pretty stingy. I think this might be the last one I can go up to is the green fuel. 
Um, so that is going to leave me with only being able to pull out one green fuel because it costs 134 million EMC at the moment, which is slowly climbing. But at the moment, I just don't have enough resources to pull this out. And this is going to be a common trend. This is going to be uh, pretty noticeable as you start to upgrade through your progression here. It's at this point that you start to question, am I really making a, a, a lot of EMC? And that's when you're like, oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm actually not. I have very little. Even though this seems like a huge number, when you start working with these things, it really puts that into perspective. You're working with nothing here. And these matters are even huger. Like, like huger is not the, uh, the word I was looking for. They're even larger uh, because these are going to cost all of the fuel and then the matter on top of it. Uh, so once you get to that, that green, you can imagine how much that's going to cost. So there's a matter. And then with this, it's going to be a very similar process, except slightly more tedious as we do have to look up the actual fuel and know what fuel we're going to be using to upgrade this. So this is magenta. And so we'll have to pull that fuel out and then repeat this process like so to upgrade all the matters. Now, keep in mind, if you need some reference, of course, there is a Project E page, which kind of outlines all of these individual uh, parts, which uh, is just all over the place, as you can see. But we, we, I mean, we got quite far on the uh, the fuels, even with our base EMC. But yeah, as you can see, the uh, the number is multiplicative. It gets it gets super large. Now, the other part that is a bit more tedious as well is going to be this, as this is going to require those different fuel types. And you're going to need to make sure you have the dust available for each one of these. So might as well just grab all of this. But these are going to be really useful for me because it's going to allow me to increase my EMC production uh, just off the base here. Um, so I should be able to take the EMC like, and these are going to be very expensive as well. Like the, uh, the cost on these are way higher than all of the other stuff. Um, these links are, are very, very expensive. Um, so let's take this. This is going to be, what, dark matter? So at this point, dark matter is pretty low on the list. But we should be able to just upgrade it to the, the tier, tool, or tier 2. Now, the tier 2 is going to be kind of nice because I can take this already. And this is going to benefit this particular setup because this right here already overfills. So if we just take this and replace it with the upgrade, it's going to allow uh, more efficiency here. It's going to give two items per second versus the base one, uh, which should allow this to feed in faster than this is producing. Maybe right on the money exactly where it's at. But I think tier three is probably going to be perfect for this. So just an update on the crafting. Well, I just now made the MK2. Uh, it does seem like this, I, I don't know how far I'm going to be able to get into this, but I am producing just by itself, it seems like close to 150 per tick. It kind of varies back and forth, maybe closer to 75,000 uh, EMC per tick. But uh, just this tier alone is going to produce 306, and I'm hoping that I can at least get up to like the 4,000 range before the EMC starts to just become too much. I have, however, found it better ways of crafting this. So now I can just do like four. And now I see the, the MK4 that I need. I need two of these and I need six of these. So I'm, that makes it so much easier to craft these. Oh, because these are these are kind of a pain. Like once you do this enough and like it's not like auto crafting is going to help you in this situation either. So there's the 4000. So we might be able to go to tier five. Ooh, that's going to be pushing it. Definitely on the EMC side of things. Maybe we'll have enough. Oh, shoot. We are going to have enough. Oh, we might have enough to even go to the next tier. Oh, that would be really nice. So, yeah, there's the five. This is 16,000. We might actually have enough to just surpass what we're currently producing already. That would be that would be amazing. This is uh, let's go to six. Um, Yeah, so at once I got to six, I don't think. I was able to make the relay or did I skip it altogether? There's no way I just skipped making the MK6. Apparently I did. So I need the MK5s and I need to upgrade these to the MK6. Apparently I must have missed one. Now this may seem all like tedious, but like I said, it is 100% worth it. This is worth every penny because like I said, this will be EMC that's going to be passively generated while we can work on other things that, well, don't have EMC values that we're going to need.
Now, to make these EMC gains incredibly fast, well, we can use a watch of flowing time on them. Now, if you're on a server, this is probably not going to be possible, but the particles should be active, and you notice we are now producing 608,000 EMC uh, from just these two, which by default produce 16,000 apiece. Um, so the watch flowing time is going to be pretty darn powerful in that regard um, and is going to allow me to hopefully make more of these and then allow me to upgrade uh, significantly faster. Now, of course, I'm not a huge fan of having more than just like one of these going at any time, because even in a single player world, if you start to place tons of these watch of flowing times down, they can start to actually cause TPS lag inside of your single player world. And it's, uh, it's, it's not a fun experience. Uh, you will notice nothing really working or it'll go incredibly slow. So yeah, definitely, uh, keep a minimal, uh, keep, keep these to a minimum. Otherwise you're, you'll probably end up with lag issues in your single player world and you're trying to figure out where did this come from? Well, it's coming from that thing right there. That's accelerating time on all of those machines. Now I just noticed once I got up to the MK6 that this doesn't have an EMC value. Uh, now, it does produce 68,000 uh, e EMC per tick, which at this point is, is all free, basically. It's just a time commitment to grind this out. Uh, that has produced that, uh, but it doesn't have EMC anymore. All of these, after that point, stop having an EMC value, I think. Well, I thought so. And is this my experience with things losing EMC value? Because... I, I swear this did not have an EMC value. No, no, it does not. So, yeah, only up to the pink version has an EMC value. Everything else doesn't seem to have it, but all of its building components does. So, at some point, this must have been removed from the EMC table. That's the only thing I can think of. Now, what that prompts me to do is just build an entire chunk filled with these flowers, which isn't exactly the whole purpose of this mod. This mod is to base, basically make it so you don't build tons and tons and tons of these pots, the actual versions. Instead, you build these, and uh, instead of that, and you, you only use, uh, you use less server resources. In reality, that's what these are for. Now, I'm just now making the MK9 just to kind of show you where I'm at, and this is going to produce 4.7 million, and you can see that I have made duplicates of, like, the MK8 and stuff like that. Uh, to sort of get this going higher. And it may seem like 160 million a second is a lot, but it is absolutely not. It is such a small amount when we need to get higher and higher tiers in order to technically make things like the Colossal Omega, which requires 40, or f which requires 422 trillion EMC to make. And here's the MK10. Oh, this is getting uh, ridiculous at this point. That wow went up really high. Now we're now we're cooking, but also it also costs way more per thing we're making uh, to go up each tier. And now finally, which things are actually kind of speeding up, believe it or not, this is going to be the MK11. And man, we are now cooking. Look at that, almost two billion a second now up from 500 mil, it's it's just numbers getting bigger to be fair. Remember how he said early on this game kind of feels like a clicker game? This just amplifies that to another level. And here is the MK12 getting placed in. Oh boy, it's only getting better from here. So it's now time. Time to make the final one that I can make at this current stage. Uh, and this is the MK-13. So, why is this the last one? Well, as you can see right here, once we get it placed down, we're going to be producing 30 billion a second with uh, the Watch of Flowing Time going. Of course, it's not that much if you don't have the Watch of Flowing Time. Still a lot, but not as much. Um, now, let's take a look, though, at the reason why. So, Project E, in this particular pack, after the MK13, they require ultimate crafting and a lot, including all of this, like colossal stars. So at this point, well, we kind of have to let this kind of move on 
and move away from this because this is all we can craft. Now, of course, we can make more of the MK13s and that'll be quite easy as we have like we're already at like two trillion EMC. So the trillions and trillions of EMC will definitely build up. And of course, ultimately, I want to, you know, get rid of all of the other flowers that we have going and just have 13s running. That way we only have a couple 13s instead of a bunch of these all over the place. I think it would look much nicer to just have those. Um, but this is working at the moment and uh, we have quite a bit of EMC coming in and we've also managed to craft uh, all of the, the relays uh, or the EMC links, which these are gonna be super important to us. This can export now up to 4,000 items a second, which I think is more than most things we're ever going to send items out of, but it's going to be able to handle it. That's gonna be super important because as we start to move into more of these creative items, you're going to notice that, well, we're going to need a lot of a very specific thing, and that's essence. And there are several different ways that you can generate these essences, but I think one of the best way is going to be because uh, seeds are EMCable, the base seeds, is probably to send this through a reprocessor, seed processing. That's probably one of the best ways of actually getting Inferium Essence and not doing it through any other means. So just feeding a machine tons of Inferium Essence, and I think this uh, it shows up to a Supremium reprocessor, but I'm pretty sure there is a Insanium reprocessor, as you can see right here. Uh, sending it to an Insanium reprocessor to be reprocessed as fast as possible and then having that all crafted down into Insanium is probably going to be the ultimate way to do this. And yeah, that is going to require some EMC to flood those things. Now the next couple of episodes is heavily going to be invested uh, into getting these creative items and starting the production of everything needed for all of them. They all require their own sort of thing, dabbling in auto crafts, for example. This seems really easy to craft. These are just netherite crafters. Uh, so we're gonna have to get into the extended crafting, but I, I yeah, honestly, this pack, it, it hit a point where I was like, oh, this is going to be kind of a grind. Realized there's Project E in here, and that's a, a big part of this pack. And then realized, oh, this is going to be a pretty fast progression. um, Like, really fast. But bear in mind, that's not a bad thing. I think that's the intended purpose of this particular pack. It feels really good in that regards. If you're wanting a fast pack to get through and also have a blast doing it, I'm glad I found this one. And I'm really glad you guys suggested it to me because I've been having a lot of fun. I don't think I've had this much fun since playing Sky Factory 4. So it's been really, really nice. And just like this, by the way, this is, I think, one of the first packs that I've been able to play that I can break a dark matter pedestal without a dark matter pickaxe. Oh my goodness. But I went ahead and made a little area over here specifically for this. I now have eight of the MK13s as they really add up. And this is how much we produce without using this table, 9.7 billion a second, which is still really, really fast. Uh, but with this, it then jumps up to 184 billion. That is quite the factor. So now after taking a deeper dive into all of the things that I'm going to need, I now know what next episode is probably going to be about and how I'm going to go about the start of all of the stuff that's going to re be required for getting to this creative point. And that is creative essence. Uh, I think next episode, we need to come up with some sort of solution for power and also for making tons and tons of essence. Because if I did the math right, we are going to end up needing just for the Insanium alone for one single creative essence, we're going to need close to 163,000, really 164,000 basic essence in order to craft up into the Insanium Essence. So that's a lot. We are going to need a lot. And it's probably going to be the combination of a bunch of reprocessors and crafters in order to get this all done. Lots of also power being moved around and things like that and making sure we have very fast pipes routing all of these things. So that is going to be a process, but it needs to be a process that we get done early and not later on. 
Now, of course, guys, if you've been playing along and you've been enjoying this series, or maybe you're just getting started and you want a custom island to build on, well, I have you covered. If you're a supporter of any tier, you will get access to not only this world download, but a template of this particular world as well. Uh, the template will not have any of the modded blocks in it. It will just be simply these islands nice and hollowed out and decorated just like this, posted over on the Discord for you guys, for you guys to start your world in if that's something you're looking for. Uh, and which will be kind of nice. Then you don't have to worry about placing all those pesky islands, you know? And that's a supporter of any tier. So be sure to join the Discord, discord.gg forward slash chosen architect and join the amazing crew today. And like I said, get your world downloads. Of course, both will be available as always. And of course, guys, if you have been enjoying this series thus far, be sure to click that subscribe button as well. Give this video a beautiful, beautiful thumbs up if you would. And comment down below, what is your favorite food? I know, what a weird Minecraft cut. Whoa, what a weird Minecraft question. But honestly, what's your favorite food? Let me know down in the comments below. I know today was all EMC based, but the next few episodes are going to be kind of crazy. So I hope you guys are ready for that. And of course, guys, it is now time to thank the beautiful sponsor slash supporter of today's video. And that, my friends, that huge thanks is going to go out to Orbiter. Thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way, over on the Discord. Becoming a Discord premium member and supporting in one of the best ways possible. And of course, get your world download if you haven't already. Guys, I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, of course, thanks for watching. Bye.